All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahawashai, Bahasham, Rechakwadash, double honors unto my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, this is the brother Atazari from GMS Houston. And I want to read this article, and it's from a. Uh, a source called Time Investors. Okay. They come out with different articles from uh, things all over the world. Okay. And um, this one is in Sweden. It says the trend of microchip implants in Sweden is rapidly growing as thousands of people adopt this new way of life. Since their introduction in 2015, these tiny rice sized implants have gained significant popularity. The biochips provide a convenient alternative to carrying keys, credit cards, and train tickets. With a simple insertion between, uh, beneath the skin, individuals can effortlessly access their daily necessities. While concerns about surveillance and privacy breaches exist, Approximately 30,000 citizens have willingly embraced microchip implants, recognizing the advantages they offer while being mindful of potential drawback. Okay, and if we read the, the whole thing, it says ID, wallet, keys, all in your hand. Sweden moves into the future with microchipping. Okay. And that's all, that's what it's all about, moving into the future, okay, advancement, techno advancement in technologies, okay. Let me swipe over, we're going to watch the little clip and maybe bring out a scripture and that'll be it, okay. When Elias Brodberger goes to work, he doesn't need ID and he doesn't need money. In fact, much of what he needs to get through the day is hidden right there, just below the surface, in his hand. You like to touch it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, weird. Yeah, it's yeah. like a grain of rice. Yeah, a grain of rice. Embedded in his hand is a microchip that serves as his keys, his ID, and his wallet. Convenient. Yeah, it's all in chip, so I use it like to get around the building. Buy snacks. Yeah, exactly. Let's buy some snacks. Exactly. So I can't open it. No. And this is the future. So what I need to do the is I need future. to... First, blip my chip, and it will log me in, and from there, I get access to the fridge. Popular TV shows like Black Mirror have imagined chips as part of a dystopian future. Mm -hmm. Install ingrained procedure with local anesthetic, and you're good to go. In Sweden, the microchips are already here. When Elias Brodberger goes to work, he doesn't need ID, and he... So that's that on that, okay? Now let me so lock it. Let me put it on an uh, airplane. Bat me one second. All right, so lock you. Okay. Um, let me bring out a scripture. This is Second Corinthians chapter two and verse eleven. It says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us." Okay, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay, so we clearly see what this is all about. We know what this is all about. Oh, it's still June. Okay. Today is the 30th, the last day in June. Okay. This has to be explained biblically. Okay. And these, uh, there are certain other Israelite groups outside of Great Millstone. Okay. Because we know what this is. This is the M-O to the T to the B. Okay, the mark of the the of of the B, okay, which is spoken about in the book of Revelation, the thirteenth chapter. Okay, this is what this is an implantable device, and eventually, here in the near future, people won't be able to buy or sell unless they have an implantable device. Which you see how they are selling it. Okay, it's convenient, and we live in a convenient society where people have no patience. Okay, a microwave society. Okay, 
Now, let me uh do this. Okay. Dystopian. Here's the definition of dystopian. Relating to or denoting an imagined state or society where there is great suffering or injustice. Absolutely. Okay. Great suffering or injustice. Okay. Certain things are not going to be tolerated. Okay. Here in the near future. We're moving into that. Okay. This is where we are in this biblical timeline. At the end. Okay. And Satan is about to pull out all the stops, man. Okay. And again, this has to be explained biblically. Something this big to where they're going to put this on the whole world. Okay. And you won't be able to, as the scripture says, buy or sell. Okay. The Fed now is up and going. You know, it's going to take a little time. They're going to come full throttle with the CBDC. Okay. All these things are leading to the MOTB, man. There's no denying it. And what's so cold? A lot of guys and, and girls, a lot of guys and gals, and these other, following these other teachers outside of Great Millstone, okay, that are teaching contrary to what we're teaching, okay, are starting to ask questions, okay, because it's, it's about to be to the point where this is going to be mandatory. So, something that big that's going to come upon the whole earth, you would think that would be in the scripture somewhere. This is a major thing. The hour of temptation. Okay? Matter of fact, let me get that. Okay, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 3 and verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. You know, and it's going to take Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai putting the spirit on the elect not to take that thing, man. Because anybody can say what they're not going to do now until you pining, you starving, or you watching your family starve or, or whatever the scenario, however it plays out, okay? It's going to take that, okay? Because there's a lot of guys that's going to be like, man, I, should I be back in the kingdom? Because, hey, oh, well, you know, uh, I, 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 can't, I can't take this suffering, okay? The word patience means to suffer. Okay. The scriptures say, Woe to you that, that that lost patience, man. Okay. So we gotta so lock you. We gotta it is what it is, man. Okay. It says Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the upon all the world. Okay. The inhabited earth is going to come upon everybody on this planet, man. Okay? And everybody's going to have to make a decision whether or not to take that mark. The karagma, an implantable device. It says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay? Okay? And only the Heavenly Father can can keep is going to keep his elect from taking this thing, man. Okay. And here it is live in 3D. It's, 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 in our, it's in everybody's face. This is the future. People are always talking about the future and advancements and, you know, technological advancements. Okay. The future, the future. Oh, that's old. That's old. Man, you still doing that's old. 
You see? And that's just, this is one of the ways that they're selling it. Okay? And people don't like not being trendy. That's a big deal to Bab Babylonians especially. They need to keep up with the trends. Because everybody is worried about what everybody else is thinking about them. And they and people they worrying about thinking about them is, is worrying about what the hell they thinking about them. Just a world of, of confusion, man. A, a, a place of great confusion. Babylon the Great. Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to close. It's on to the next one. Until then, I say shallow warm.